Bianca Belair made some headlines for some text messages she revealed. So we'll see what's going on there. We'll also check out some big news for Zelina Vega, Dakota Kai, Cody Rhodes, and much more. Let's start things off with Dakota Kai and Zelina Vega's big project. Shortly before the August 18th edition of SmackDown went on the air, Zelina and Dakota took to their social media platforms to announce a new joint project. The both of them are launching a new podcast together titled Zelks and Charlie Girl. The podcast will be dedicated to the topic of gaming with the debut date coming at a later time. As far as things go for the both of them in WWE, they have a lot going on. Dakota Kai was asked by WWE to make a last second surprise appearance back at SummerSlam. Everyone assumed it was just a special one-off appearance and that Dakota will go back home to continue her ACL recovery. But Dakota Kai has now appeared on two consecutive episodes after SummerSlam, leading fans to believe that she's back on the road with WWE full-time. Obviously, it's not a full physical return because her knee hasn't healed yet. So Dakota Kai can't get involved in anything physical alongside Bailey and EO for the time being. She's there strictly just in a manager sort of role. But even though she can't compete right now, it looks like she can still play a key role in Damage Control's story if she does in fact stick around. And for Zelina Vega, a new report actually came out recently that claims nothing major is planned for Zelina at the moment. But she's still a part of the LWO, so she should still be playing a role there within the group, especially if tensions ever rise between Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio. Zelina could be the one that tries to settle down those issues if they should ever pop up in the future. As everyone knows by now, Bianca Belair had a pretty hectic night at SummerSlam full of both highs and lows, from winning it all to losing it all within seconds. Well, Bianca recently took to Instagram to reveal a screenshot of her friend who was live texting Bianca their reaction to watching her SummerSlam match. And the chain of funny texts goes from Bianca's friend being super excited that she won the title on one leg to being extremely sad and hating the money in the bank for costing Bianca everything. Bianca also revealed that with those shared text messages that her friend never really watched WWE before, she joined the company. But now they keep up and watch the product just to show her support. As far as everything goes with Bianca Belair and like we talked about a few days back, she appears to be at the start of a rumored hiatus away from WWE television. A lot of people thought Bianca was about to go through a big change after SummerSlam, considering how those events unfolded. But she returned on the August 18th edition of SmackDown completely unbothered by the events of SummerSlam. But now she was attacked backstage and taken out by damage control stacked on top of everything that happened at SummerSlam, maybe now all of that will cause Bianca Belair to evolve into a new era of her character. When Bianca Belair returns from this hiatus, it seems pretty obvious that she'll come back gunning for damage control. Bailey and Io were the ones who robbed her of her title at SummerSlam, and they were also the ones who destroyed her knee backstage at SmackDown. So whatever version of Bianca Belair that appears during her upcoming return, that version of Bianca should immediately target damage control. WWE sort of did something similar back in 2022 when damage control took out Becky Lynch backstage to write Becky off of television. Becky ended up returning several months later with her sights solely set on damage control. So we can most definitely expect to see something similar with Bianca in the future. Considering how much damage control has screwed her recently over, It'll be weird if she doesn't come for them at all. So that's a potential future feud and opponent to look forward to for EO Sky's title reign. Cody Rhodes is currently one of WWE's biggest attractions on the current roster, but it wasn't that long ago when Cody was one of the main pieces behind the creation of AEW. Cody Rhodes may no longer be a part of AEW, but he often finds himself getting questioned about the former company that he previously worked for. But during his recent interview with Fightful, Cody Rhodes said that it may be time for him to shut down and stop addressing AEW-related questions. Cody Rhodes had this to say about 
why he's going to stop answering AEW questions. Quote, we just did that media scrum, and the first question was about something that was not happening here. I think I'm going to not decline. You don't want to decline or no comment. But I think I'm going to politely tell folks that these questions get me more slack than they do help. I like to answer, but no heat with them. But they just run these quotes. Picture of you. Here's the quote. End quote. Cody Rhodes also added that he loved his run in AEW and it was a wonderful season of his life, but how he just wants to focus on what he's doing right now in his current WWE run. So it looks like Cody Rhodes will stop answering AEW related questions in great detail because his quotes are getting ripped out and taken out of context by wrestling media platforms. But as far as things go with Cody Rhodes, he's coming off a big feud with Brock Lesnar in which he picked up not one, but two big pinfall victories over Brock Lesnar. So Cody is riding high off those two wins from the feud, and he obviously hasn't been pinned since that night against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39. So we'll have to see what Cody Rhodes may get himself into for the next few months, but everyone is already expecting to fully see a rematch between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns at night two of WrestleMania 40. Cody won't win the Royal Rumble this time around. It looks like Cody will straight up call out and challenge Roman Reigns for a match at WrestleMania 40, and that's how the match will come into play. Meanwhile, whoever is the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble winner will likely go on to challenge whoever is the World Heavyweight Champion at the time. That's the biggest and most popular fan theory that's going around right now for how things will unfold with the world titles at WrestleMania 40, and it does seem pretty realistic. Everyone thought Cody Rhodes would easily win the title from Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39, but to everyone's surprise, that didn't happen. But with WrestleMania 40 featuring that big rematch, it'll really feel like all the chips are on the table with everything on the line. It won't necessarily be Cody's last shot at the title, but the match could definitely have that desperation, last attempt sort of vibe to it. Cody Rhodes would know that this is pretty much it. Facing Roman Reigns at the main event of WrestleMania for this title is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But he was lucky enough to get the opportunity twice, so he can't blow it now. He has to treat WrestleMania 40 as if it's his last chance ever at the title and try to find a way to bring it home. WrestleMania 40 truly could be the night where Roman's historic title reign comes to an end. So we'll have to see how they handle that potential rematch between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes the closer we get to WrestleMania 40 itself. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.